craft, crafty friends and welcome to my channel creative country girl my name is Tammy and this is my eighth floss tube update I believe I've been doing this since the beginning of August but um, I've just haven't done them every two weeks like I planned originally so hopefully I can get back on schedule here. My last update was in um, the end of February, I believe, the very beginning of March. Um, I um, had a doctor's appointment on March 8th and um, I left that doctor's appointment with surgery scheduled on March 30th. So, um, I, needless to say, had to scramble and get lesson plans done at school and get ready for sub and sick leave. And um, the surgery was to um, fix my neck. I've had vertebrae um, not wanting to do what they're supposed to do, a ruptured disc, and uh, I've got screws and the metal plate in there now and missing a disc and some bone and um, just lots of fun stuff. So the surgery did affect my voice, unfortunately. And um, Ellie's in here creating havoc. Um, but anyway, it did affect my voice, uh, which is one of the reasons why I've had to put it off for so long right now. So I'm hoping that um, it'll stay with me for a little bit. But anyway, um, let's get started because I have a lot to share. Even though I've been doing a lot of stitching, um, unfortunately, I don't have any uh, finishes <laughs> to share because um, I've just been starting anything and everything that I want to. So um, I'm just going to jump in and get started with my whips. The first one I want to share is a Lily Violet. It's Orte e Giardini. Orte e Giardini, which in Italian, is it Italian? I believe it's Italian. Um, in Italian, it means vegetable garden. So this is a lovely little sampler um, about a vegetable garden. So, I am stitching this on 16 count Ada, and I am stitching it with sulky threads. I love working with sulky threads. They're so easy to use. So, I'm just going to fold this in half. Don't look at my threads. But here we go. I have not ironed. I finally got my black sulky in. So I was able to finish the wheelbarrow, the bumblebee, that first rose, um, the flowers from the middle of the border over to the corner. Those are all complete. The chick is complete. I started on the duck and there's a wreath there that I've started on and a heart. Okay. So I, I really love this. It's going to be so cute once it's finished. Um, so I'm hoping to get a lot of work on that in the next couple of weeks. The next one that I would like to share is... That one was a new start. Okay. So the next one I would like to share, I believe I shared this before, is my um, Tree of Magic by Barbara Anna. You have to order this through Nitka. Um, it is nitka.moscow. Trying to get that to... 
Is it going to focus? No, nope, probably not. Um, Nitka is a company over in Russia, and Barbara Anna works exclusively with them some of the times. Um, oh, that's right. That is up here. So you have to go online and order that through them, and it comes from Russia. I've had no problems. I've ordered from them twice now. I've had no problems. This is the linen it came with. And I'm trying to get my threads. Okay, and that's my progress. Now I've changed quite a few of the colors. I wanted more um, earthy colors. Barbara Anna's colors are kind of a little um, out there for me. Uh, the mushroom was supposed to be turquoise. Um, I, I just wanted more autumn, fall looky colors. So that's the bottom of the tree trunk. And um, I stitch, I'm right handed. So I stitch, um, my needle goes in from the right side and it goes to the left. I don't stitch down, I stitch from the right side. I can't bend my wrist. Um, it's a total fusion. So it's easier for me to go in from, from the side. Um, so that's why you'll always see me stitching from the um, right side to the left. And I usually start at the bottom and then work my way over and up. Um, something else I do want to mention is I have a Samsung phone and with their last update, they took away the ability for us to control, um, to flip our videos so that when you guys read something with writing, you see it correctly. Um, that's what I've been told, however, and while I'm videoing, I'm watching and it and it looks like that's true. So um, I'm researching that, but um, for right now, to get this video done, um, we're just going to um, leave it that way for now. Um, another whip that I believe I shared with you last time was The Stitch Goddess by Tiny Modernist. I just love her. Now I have changed a few of the colors, but you're not going to be able to notice that right now um, because most of the colors that I will have changed um, have to do with her hair. I want her hair to be auburn, not the bright fire orange that they have charted. So, Ignore my threads. Again, I started down in, in the corner here. I'm working my way up and over. So that's her dress. I haven't worked on this in quite a few weeks. I need to get this out again um, and get some progress on that. I am using... I know it's 36 count linen. It's a Zweigart base. I cannot remember the color. And I don't have my notebook here with me. So I am going to have to look that up. If you have a question about that, email me. Uh, my email will be in the drop box. Um, and then another whip that I have, and again, <laughs> I don't have the chart with me. It's in the other room, but you guys probably know this. It's, it's all over. I think we're in the 10th month. It's a 12, is it a 12 month? Yes, it was a 12 month stitch along, and I believe I just got the 10th month. Um, in the mail a couple days ago 
It's from Fat Quarter Shop and Lori Holt. It's the Lori Holt Prim Stitch Series. And I restarted it back in March. Excuse me. I did restart it again back in March for the fourth time. And this time I restarted it on Vintage Country Mocha 32 count. I have it on a lap stand. This is month three. And then this is month set six. And then underneath it, I have month nine done also. I'm going to unroll that for you. Um, it's moving along pretty quickly. I use um, the easy stitch velcro system it's so easy to use um, and I use it with my split scroll frames too um, this one I have it velcro yet but I have quite a few of these old frames you're supposed to stick your material in between there and roll it um, that doesn't work for me. It never has. So I use the Velcro. And you stick it to your linen, your material, and it works really well. And um, I'm rolling this up so that you can see month nine. So that one's ready. And then underneath that, we've got one more roll, row, one more row underneath. And um, so I've got a lot of work to do on that. I know it, but it moves rather quickly. I can get one of those squares done in about three days if I'm working constantly. So that is moving right along. So those are the... I believe three projects that I have worked on constantly or is it four four yes four projects those are the four projects that I've worked on since January um, I've started all of those between January and between January and the beginning of March now what I'm going to share with you are all of the wits I am currently working on. Um, these are brand new starts that I started just in the past five or six weeks. So the first one I started is a prairie schooler, prairie flowers. And the one I started is this one right here. And looking at this, when I picture this, I think eight by tens. Um, so not eight by tens. So I dyed some fabric back in the winter and, um, I wanted a, a light green color, a springy color. And, um, this is what I got. So I really love the color. It reminds me of spring. And uh, I'm just using colors that I like. So the colors I am choosing from, I kind of sat down one day and did a floss toss with different colors on top of the fabric. I have a rather long piece of fabric here. Um, so my plan is to stitch this one, this one that I'm working on now, and this one with similar colors. And then I want to, uh, finish those three and hang them together. 
um, the colors I'm using for this one right now is, this is Here we go. This is the basket color, and it is Weeks Dye Works Oak. And then my green is Steamed Broccoli by Classic Color Works. And then my flowers is smoke which is a purplish blue um, these to me look like forget-me-nots little forget-me-nots um, I have them all over my garden so um, I wanted to use that color I have a lot more colors in here um, some roses pinks uh, lighter purple some oranges, um, just some beautiful colors that um, I plan on using for other flowers in the series also. So that is my spring flowers. This is a Creative Country Girl project bag. My project bags, this is the large size, and it is um, probably about 13 by 15. Um, they start out 14 by 16. Um, I use um, clipboards with my patterns, my charts, quite often. Oh, here's one. And so I like to be able to stick my clipboard inside with my project. So my next project I started at the end of March when I was on spring break, not at the end of March, the middle of March, probably around March 15th, 16th, I was on spring break. Um, it's by Little House Needleworks and it's called Home of a Needleworker. And I am using all the called for colors, which I believe they are all DNC. I'm dropping everything. And there goes the chart. I am the most uncoordinated person you will ever find. My doctor, when I left his office on March 8th, I had told him how clumsy I am. Um, I am very clumsy and, uh, when I left his office, the last thing he said to me was don't fall because one of my vertebrae was really pushing into my spinal cord quite a bit. And he was worried, extremely worried that if I was in an accident or fell or something, Needless to say, that didn't happen. So, I have gotten quite a bit done on this. Again, I chose Ada because I knew I wanted to move fast on this. Um, so, I am moving fast on it. All the DMC that it's called for. Started the house um, last week. And I haven't worked on it the past few days because I started something else. Um, but this will be done this summer for sure. Roll it back up, stick it back in. This is another Creative Country Girl project bag with the blue gingham. This is um, yeah. Can't remember the name of this fabric. I will. We'll see if I remember. Okay, so there's that one. Um, uh, that one I really haven't started yet. Let's do this one. This is another Prairie Schooler. Okay, it's number 89. And this one is called Village Green. And this is the one down here. I've started 
Now, some of the colors I am changing just a little bit because I want it to be more springy than I do autumn-y looking. I, to me, it kind of looks like autumn a little bit. So I am going to brighten it up just a bit. I am stitching this on 36 count um, summer khaki. And I'm just going to keep it rolled up. I've just started down in the corner. Don't look at my cutting. This was bad. I, hmm. I'm going to be mounting it. I'll be framing it doing whatever I decide to do with it. But yeah, I'm extremely embarrassed about that. But there's the robin and the tree and the house that's down in the corner. This is um, on 36 count. I'm only using one strand of floss. I prefer to just use one strand of floss and, and it's working out. It's a little bit more complicated. Prairie schoolers are a little bit more complicated on the higher counts, but I am enjoying it. So there's that one. This bag I bought from, um, on Instagram, Jasmine Ravenclaw. Okay. So look that up on Instagram. It's got a uh, vinyl front and a pocket that I have loved. I've got needles and scissors in there. I am going to implement this in some of my bags. Um, I just, with me being an elementary librarian, I fell in love with it. Green's my favorite color, so yes, please. Okay, so what else do I have? Two more projects that I've been working on. This one is a Creative Country Girl bag that my cat took a nap on while I was gone at physical therapy today. So, there's my logo. And um, this is with um, folktale fabric. And I just love it. I made it just yesterday. Um, I'm making one for a friend and it went out in the mail today. So I really enjoyed that. And I also put this in for a floss ring. Um, this one is Garden Versus. Again, another prairie schooler. And the one I am stitching right now is this one with the strawberries. Um, I have a couple of friends, um, Heather and Jeanette, and uh, they are country cottage, country cottage stitchers. I believe that's what they are on Instagram, um, YouTube on YouTube, they're Country Cottage Stitchers, and they started uh, the Strawberry Social um, Sal. So I am stitching this one for it. I hand dyed, not hand dyed, I tea dyed. I dunked it for like 30 seconds in tea, and then grunged it up and baked it on light blue 16 count Ada. So I've got the vine that goes up and around. The basket's almost done. The bluebird's almost done. And there it is. So I'm excited to get this one finished. Um, I want to do all of them. Um, I love Prairie Schooler. I mean, all of them. Look at all of those. They're so springy. This one says, he who plants kindness gather loves. Um, I love this one too. Um, How doth the little busy bee improve each shining hour and gather honey all the day from every opening flower. 
and it's got the bee ski scap um, sunlight fades stars appear garden fairies gather here look at the rabbit and the flowers so I want to do all those I love those so that is one of my whips and then another whip this one I just started Saturday evening and I worked on it yesterday for about an hour um, all of the floss is DMC it's charted that way uh, I believe it's DMC or anchor yes those are your choices um, and I've had this for a while I just haven't charted it up and I love it it's called inspiration by Rosewood Manor and I love it so I started I never start in the middle anymore but I did with this I started on the church and I have this tree done and then I'm going up here I with all of the vines that you have to backstitch um, I thought that it might be easier to start in the middle and then work my way out so that is actually on my floor stand so what I'm going to do I'm gonna get up and hold my tripod and share with you that start okay so this is a 32 count a even weave and again I tea dyed it um, it's very grungy looking but that's that's my small start I worked on it just a little bit yesterday and then an hour Saturday night um, and that's my floor stand and again you can kind of see the velcro right here and I have velcro attached to the bottom of my even weave and then those are two of my lap stands I have one more lap stand and then I have a couple other frames that I use okay I'm gonna put you back down and turn you back around that is my whip basket those are all of my current whips but these are the ones I haven't worked on recently so they're just sitting in there waiting for me to pick them up again okay and then I have floss storage this is my needlework cart this uh, goes from the living room to my bedroom to my studio which is where we are now and um, it has everything in it that I need I've got my scissors here my needle threader um, this is my ort jar um, I put all my orts in it it's got a small hoop um, I have down here I still bobbinize so I have extra bobbins I have my tie to go uh, post-it notes notebooks uh, ruler hand lotion this is a nifty little thing this has got a uh, silicone type and it's a it's a ripper but I don't use it for that if I need a ripper I only use my clothes clover I I only trust this thing um, but I use it for the tip you know how when you're uh, ripping out some stitches and they get fuzzy and you've got fuzz all over um, that's I use that and it takes them all away um, what else do I have floss away bags for when I'm using silk um, I've got some uh, highlighters in here these are my counting pens counting pens uh, so when I need to count if I'm stitching a long line or a border my uh, cross stitch key for starting 
leaving borders. Um, what else do I have? Um, 28 size needles. These are knobs for my uh, stands. Uh, thread magic. Uh, thread cutter. Um, uh, leather thimble. Um, yeah, you know what that is. And this is like my favorite right now. Um, I this whoops, sorry about that. You can get at um, Fat Quarter Shop. It's thread conditioner. It's a hundred percent beeswax. Um, Lori Holt produces it, and it has been amazing. A definite game changer. So I put my project bags here. This is another project that I am kidding up. And uh, this is all in DMC and all of these flosses are going to be used. So if I don't feel like stitching, um, I will bobbinate a little bit at a time, which is why my markers are right here. I don't use the stickers, they don't stay on. So I just write them down. You can see that, the numbers down. So um, this is another Rosewood Manor, another Rosewood Manor project. I believe uh, it's called a forest grew. So I wanna start on that this summer sometime. So that stays down there. Okay, so let me turn you around. There's my daughter when she was two. That's her two-year-old photo with Winnie the Pooh. She loved Pooh. And then next to her is my son, who um, I believe he was 20 at the time that photo was taken. He is now 20, almost 26. And Hannah is now 23. Yeah. Time. Okay, I'm back. So, those are all of my whips, I think. No, one more, two more. This one is almost done. Uh, let me share this one with you first. This one is Lizzie Kate, a little stitch. It was one of those kits that came with uh, the pattern, the linen, um, and a little charm. So I've changed the colors a bit because it's going to go upstairs in my sewing room. And so I kind of changed the colors so that it would match my sewing room. Um, and then when that is done, which should be fairly soon. Hi, Mr. Henry. I'm going to mount it um, inside the little basket here. So and hang it that way. So, Lizzie Kate, a little stitch. And then my next one that I'm going to share, where's the chart for that? It's in here too. Hang on. I think it should be. Yes. Is this one. It's another prairie schooler. And it is the Prairie Fairy. It's from 1996. Um, there were actually four fairies, one in each year for four years. And this one is, uh, 1994 Prairie Fairy. This one's 1995. And then this one was 1997. I wish they would have kept going with these. I adore them. So anyway, there's that one. And this is her. She has her little watering can. There's her snow. I've got the bottom of her dress and her little hat. So this one won't take long to finish either. Um, let me go ahead and talk about this since I'm here. 
this is a box I have. I think I have it from um, the container store. Okay, so it's from the container store. And right now, let me turn this over. I have smalls in one side, uh, charts, and I'll show you some of them in a bit. And um, I have threads on the other side. I also have scissors in here. Uh, let me share some of these. I have an obsession with Prey Schooler. You all know that. So I have um, some of their smaller charts. Um, welcome. Here's mine. I love this one. Um, just there's lots of little smaller charts that they made back in the day. And so I have a lot of those in here. I have my prairie fairies. And then I have other charts like this is JBW Designs Halloween. They're smart charts, basically for smalls. That's an actual chart. This one is Bluebird. Um, a Lizzie Kate, Triology, Patriotic Tree, Heart in Hand, Heart in Hand, Lizzie Kate, JBW, Heart in Hand, Uh, Lizzie Kate, Lizzie Kate, I love this one, Lizzie Kate, this one I got back in March on spring break, love that one, um, and then down below I have put a few charts of smalls, but they're bigger. So what I would like to do, I have this one. Um, I would like to separate these and do one for each season. Um, I have this Summer by Lulu Stitches. Um, Lizzie Kate, this is one my local needle workshop had at one time. I love this one, Strawberry Hill. Bloom and Grow, Lizzie Kate, so you kind of see, um, this is going to be my Mania box, inside here I also have different materials, I've got more dyed material, um, this is mostly Ada just because I want to be able to get it done quick and fast. So I think during the month of May for Mania, I'm going to do smalls and I'm going to start one and finish it. Start one, finish it. Um, I'm not going to start one every day. Um, I'm going to start one and then finish it. So we'll see how many I get done, but, um, that's what I've got this for, is for small, so I can carry it around if I need to. So that is my Mania plans. Now, a couple more plans I have. I have this completely charted up now. Uh, la di da, love abide. And, um, oh, I don't have fabric in here yet but I do have all the floss. Um, so that will be started this summer. Something else I have charted up and I'm very excited about is Silver Creek Samplers. Um, it is, let's 
this one called? My Christmas List, I believe. So um, I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm trying to think who did this. Priscilla from um, The Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. Priscilla changed, changed hers last year. She did this. And what she did is that she changed the wording to all black. So all of the wording like uh, family visits, turkey, dressing, woolen sweaters, Christmas reindeer, all of that. The words are in black. And then down here where it says Christ is born, she kept red. She did all of the motifs and their colors, but the words were all black and then Christ is born in red. And I really like that. So that's what I'm going to do. And I have not looked at, I've got all the threads pulled. I have not looked at the size yet. So I have a fat half from Seraphim Fabrics. Um, this is Ada, but it is silver lining. Um, so I am hoping there's a little bit of modeling. It's hard to tell, especially in the camera, but but I can see it if you're just looking at it. Um, I'm hoping that this will be long enough. I have to do all the math for that. And I have not done that yet, of course. So that will be going on that if it'll fit. So I have to do that still. If not, I'll be digging around and trying to find something else. There's that one. Another one that I have charted up is a Lizzie Kate, um, and it is Prayer of St. Francis. And this, I'm actually going to stitch this as a gift. It shouldn't take too long. Um, and I have a 32 count uh, summer khaki linen. And all the DMC pulled. I did change the colors just a little bit to go with uh, the person that this is for. So, but I'm using DMC for all of that. And that, nope, one more start. Fabrics over there. It's another summer khaki linen. This is going to be my 4th of July star, a new constellation um, by Plum Street Samplers. I have all the linen. Can you see it? <laughs> I have all the linen back here. Um, I finished picking it up last weekend. I went to my local needle workshop and picked up the rest of the uh, threads that I didn't have. It calls for uh, some DMC and some over dyes. So um, I have that ready to go. And that is all of my whoops and my current plants. Okay, now I have a couple of things here. This just came today. Um, this is the April Floss Pack of the Month Club by Southern Stitchers. Um, and then this is uh, the Floss Fix by Fat Quarter Shop. I have a lot of weeks, but I didn't have a lot of classic color works. So I am fixing that. And then a few charts that I've picked up in the last couple of months. Sit and stitch. This will be kitted up soon. Um, Needlework ABCs by Little House. Stitchy Stars. This will be kitted up very soon within the next couple of days. Stitchy Stars by Lori Holt. 
Autumn Lane Stitchery. Autumn Town. I love that. And Rose Road Manor. I don't know if it's still going on. They are um, moving some of their designs. Uh, they are uh, retiring some of their designs. And they uh, were having a huge sale. And um, some of these were 3 or $4. Um, really, really, really cheap. So I got the Industrious Bee. For your delight. Silent Sampler. It's beautiful. The mini sampler trio. April tulips. Look at that. Family reunion. I thought this one was really cool. Not for sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I think I'm going to do a family sampler. Um, it's working. So family reunion. I'm going to move this up pretty close. So it's a bunch of motifs where you kind of insert your own family members. Um, it's, it's hefty. There's a lot of pages to it, but it's, it's a really neat idea. Um, I liked this. I'm not for sure if I'm going to turn it into a bag, but a uh, yield sampler bag. I really liked the pattern and you do get the clasp with it. So I like the row by row look. I'm not for sure what I'm going to do with that yet. And then this one blossoms in Baltimore. This is just beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So that, oh, I forgot this. That is haul for me, with the exception of this. This came in today. Um, my favorite is, um, Oh, I see one more thing that I am kidding up right now. It's all kitted up. I'll have to pull that in a second. Um, this is going to be a set of project bags that are going to be on my website soon. Um, if you are interested in project bags, um, I make um, two different sizes of project bags. I call them a medium and a large. Um, and then I also make a little notions bag. I make a, um, um, a bag. I'm not for sure what I'm going to call it yet, but it, it's good for knitters. Um, it's a tall bag, um, that stands on its own and you could put your needles in it. Um, so, um, I am going to, I'm still working on my website but it will be done soon um, and I will be listing bags on there. So if, if you are interested, follow me on Instagram and it is creative country girl, Tammy Blaylock. Uh, Blaylock does not have a Y in it. It's B as in boy, L-A-L-O-C-K. Follow me on Instagram and uh, that is where I'm going to post first as far as when the shop is open. Um, so I just love these together. This is a new line. Um, I think it's by, is it Robert Miller? No. Yes. Robert Kaufman. Fabrics. 
I don't know. It's called 1930s Playtime. Oh, here, hang on. No, it's by Moda. 30s Playtime by Chloe's, Chloe's Closet. And it's by Moda. Um, and it's, it's actual quilt quality. Oh, I just love it. And it feels so good. So that will be coming up. And, um, again, if you're interested in those, um, you might want to head over to Instagram, creative country girl and, uh, Tammy Blaylock. So I think that's it for everything. Um, please subscribe. Um, a thumbs up would be wonderful. Um, and uh, when I do open my store, I will be giving away a uh, free project bag. So follow me on Instagram and uh, you'll be one of the first to know there. Wait a minute. I forgot. I just saw this and told you I would show you. Two things. Okay. Okay. So this is being kitted up right now, which I'm sure you've seen this a lot. It's beautiful. Lori Holtz, one of my favorites. Um, and it's all DMC for me. So this will be started at some point in time. And then um, something else that is being started in a couple of weeks, uh, Brenda and the Serial Starter. Brenda and Laura are starting a stitch along to be the first weekend of every month and it's for blackbird designs and my plans are to work on these stockings first thing um i have them all and um with the intention of stitching them all this year I haven't stitched one yet so um this is going to be my first weekend of every month will be working on the blackbird stockings. So um, there is a hashtag for that. Um, blackbird, I don't know what it is. Right now off the top of my head, I can't remember. But um, follow along with that too. So I think that's it. That's all for me for now. Um, I am going to do a studio tour because um, I have uh, several people that have asked me about my floss storage, um, how I store my floss, floss because I've mentioned that I do bobbinate, but we can also see floss back there behind me. And then I have different things for different storage for my fabrics and such. So I am going to get that done this week and probably post that next week. So uh, follow along, give me a like, a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe, and um, I will see you soon. Bye.